Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0107 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0107 code? Well, it's a manifold absolute pressure map sensor circuit low voltage. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the map sensor to know how much vacuum is inside of the engine, inside of the manifold. And it's seen an error with this, so it have to be troubleshooting to know why. And some of the possible causes, it could be a bad map sensor, uh, there could be a problem in the wiring, the, the harness where it plugs in could have a problem, or there just could be a vacuum leak. And so the map sensor is usually located right after the throttle body, but it can be located differently, so you have to Google it for your particular Honda. And some even have two. They'll have one before the throttle body and one after the throttle body. But the most common is they have one and it's after the throttle body. And so here would be the throttle body and here would be the map sensor. So the first thing to do is to Google where this map sensor is located on your particular Honda. And then after you locate it, go and check out this wiring harness. Be sure it's plugged in good and that there's no issues with that. And you could also check it for an open or a short. But basically keep in mind that bad wiring could cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So if there's any problem in the wiring, it'll have to be troubleshooted. Now most people would just go ahead and swap out the sensor since they're low cost parts. I'll jump over on Amazon to give you an idea of how much they cost right now. They're low cost parts. They look like they're ranging around 10, 20, 30 dollars. There's one for 40, but they're not high cost parts or anything like that. And what many people do also is that they'll go get some map sensor cleaner. And this is for mass airflow sensors, but they'll, they'll use it. You could use this on the map sensor or, or almost any of these sensors really. But a lot of garages will just have it around because they use it for multiple things. And you could take them apart. You could clean them up quite often. They'll work and you can stick them back in. But they are low cost parts. So either way, either clean it up and test it out that way or just, or just buy a new one and replace it. So if you got through and either tested, cleaned or replaced this map sensor and you checked out the harness, you checked out the wiring, that all looks good. There's no issues there then very likely there's a vacuum leak, which is another common problem with this code. And the thing you want to do with the vacuum leak is you want to go around and look, check out all these hoses going into the manifold, going into the top of the engine, and look for any leaks. There might be a cracked hose, or there might be a bad connection, or all these hoses going around, they, they can't have any leaks, or else the manifold will lose pressure, and that sensor will seem like it's bad because there's no pressure in there. Really big leaks can be easy to find, but really small leaks can be hard and can sometimes be problematic. One thing a mechanic would do is they would take a smoke machine, they would feed it into the engine, and wherever the smoke came out, they know there was a leak. This is a common thing that they do. If you do have a really bad leak, you can get smoke machines on Amazon. And so you, you likely won't have a smoke machine, but you but you can go around and examine all these small hoses and everything and check to see if there's any if there's any obvious leaks or anything like this. One trick that many mechanics use is that they'll have a can of that map sensor cleaner. And if they think there's a leak somewhere, they'll have the engine running and they'll spray where, where they think the leak is. And if the engine changes idle, then they know it's leaking right there. If it doesn't change idle, then they know it doesn't. There's some YouTube videos on different methods you could use, you can do to find vacuum leaks if that is the problem. But this would be the next thing to check is if there's a vacuum leak. And so what do you do if you have a Honda with the P0107 code? Well, first thing to do, locate that map sensor on your particular Honda. Check out the wiring harness. Be sure the wiring all looks good. Be sure there's no opens or shorts or anything like this. Check for possibly blowing fuse since this circuit is on a, usually on a fuse. And once you know the wiring is all good, go ahead and either clean or replace that map sensor. And that, that usually solves the problem. But if it doesn't solve the problem, then you have to start looking for a vacuum leak because it very likely does have a vacuum leak at that point. And that's the next common cause for a Honda with the P0107 code. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P0107 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.